sharpness, just passing the marina entrance. I'll give you more details on them in the next time I come back to the show. getting a little bit uh, noisy. Here we have the borough of St. Marvin, White Heather. Lovely to see her looking fine condition. No, it's got to be See the spot is going to be on the as well. It's St. Marlborough Council uh, to tow white boats on the Grand Union Paddington Arm. Trade uh, was transferred to Thomas Clayton Paddington with the boats and, they, and it ceased after the Second World War. She was then transferred to British Waterways and worked as a tug of Bulls Bridge until being sold in the late 70s. What white heather is part of the national historic ships register and it's looking superb quietly creeping through the marina hardly hear a peep so you can see the uh, flag on the rear I recall that also includes the uh, Queen's Jubilee it's on the trip down the uh, down the Thames when, of course, regrettably, BBC missed all the sensible boats and were only interested in the board at St Mary's Hospital. Next we have the Sharpness. It's coming in. Sharpness. Uh, where are we? Yeah, somewhere. It's a 45 foot tunnel to the man's just top me, but I've got it from this information here. Uh, round bilge, wrought iron, was significant overplating, built in 1908. She was built by Eisen, J. Abdella, and Mitchell at Brimscombe Port on the Thames and Severn. That uh, is up there in the old Stroud where they're. Cotswold Canal Trust, who have a stall in, in the marquee, are currently trying to work in The original engine was a single cylinder petrol paraffin Cromhout 30 horsepower engine. Now we have an adamant. Makes an awful lot of noise. <laughs> Steam canal tug, not the genuine original, but the boat's probably the closest working example of a canal tunnel. You keep doing that, you don't change your trend. There's uh, Adamant just passing through. And, uh, Hull was built for the stern ends of two horse drawn uh, Birmingham Joey boats built of iron in the late 1880s and 1890s with a recent counter in Camden Top. She was conceived and built as a steamer by Chris Stubbings in the 80s. by Harris Brothers of Netherton for the Oxford Canal Company. Part paid for by the Ministry of War Transport. She was sold in the 60s to Alfred Matty of Coesley near Birmingham 
where she finished her working life. She's been restored to her original Oxford Canal Company condition by its current owners. Peter Downer is a good lady. And uh, should anybody be really interested in opening a uh, classic craft and wanting to look after it, it might be worth having a quiet chat with the Downers. Might consider parting company with him. Only for somebody who's going to look after that well.